What's up everybody, Marissa V. Grayson here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a child custody and family law attorney, mediator and co-parent coach, also known as America's Blended Family Expert. And you're watching Marissa V. TV where we talk about all things blended family. So today, let us just go ahead and dive right on in to this Mashonda, Swiss Beats, and Alicia Keys co-parenting trio. So for those of you who don't know, let me give you a little bit of background on what's been going on or what's recently happened. So um, I think I'm safe in saying that most of you or all of you probably know who Alicia Keys is. But depending on the demographic of who's watching this video, you may not necessarily know who Mashonda is or who Swiss Beats is. So to give you a little bit of background, Mashonda is an R&B singer. She's been featured on, you know, several songs from back in the early 2000s. She's also a songwriter. And then you have Swiss Beats, who is a very popular producer and produces a lot of the, the biggest hits that you'll know, um, specifically in the hip hop world. So Mashonda and Swiss Beats were formerly married and they have a child together. Now Swiss Beats is married to Alicia Keys and he and Alicia have, I believe, two children together. So recently, Mashonda released this book. It's called Blended, and it's talking about the importance of co-parenting and how to peacefully co-parent with your child's other parent. And, you know, just the importance of blending your family, the same stuff that I be talking about all the time, right? Um, but the reason that this is news and the reason that it's in the media right now so much is because allegedly, back, you know, years ago, there was some overlap from the time that Mashonda and Swiss Beats' relationship ended to the time that Alicia and Swiss Beats' relationship began. So allegedly there was some overlap there and um, Mashonda wrote an open letter to Alicia Keys and there was just a whole bunch of just, you know, talk in the media, you know how the media does, and they just highlighted all the drama. So now they're in this place where... It's 2018, they get along great, they love each other, they're co-parenting peacefully, and um, again, they re um, Mashonda released a book. So the book is called Blended. So I wasn't even going to get on and chime in on this because I think that Alicia and Mashonda and um, Swiss Beats did a great job in their media appearances explaining the importance of the lessons that they've learned and you know, how the book came about and the things that they're going to be talking about or that Mashonda is talking about in the actual book. Um, so I wasn't even going to touch on the topic, but so many of you have been tagging me in the videos, sending me links to the articles, sending me links to the Good Morning America, you know, episode that aired. So I just wanted to get on and chime in and give you my two cents because everybody's asking me, you know, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? So here's what I think. I think it is amazing, which most of you should already know. I am just always overjoyed when I see, um, you know, the work that I do, even though these are not necessary, these are not my clients, the work that I do and the lessons that I teach, when I see it unfold in other families, I'm just always happy because I always want to tell people or I always tell people, you know, it's possible to co-parent peacefully no matter the place that you were in before. You know, a lot of us, we think that, oh, uh, we just hate each other and, you know, he did this and she did that and, you know, we just aren't on the same page or matter of fact, a lot of y'all are like, we're not even in the same book, forgetting being on the same page, right? So a lot of you think that, you know, the the things that I teach and the things that I talk about are essentially impossible and the reality is that it's not impossible it's actually very possible so one of the most important takeaways that i've taken just from the media attention that i've seen so far is one of mashonda's statements where she talks about the 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 fact that one it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be filled with drama you don't have to hate each other you don't have to live in this place where your children feel torn between their two parents first and foremost but most importantly what i think um she said that was just very true and that you know i think is something that everyone has to grasp is the importance of self-care when you are co-parenting or when you're blending a family so we talk about, you know, in my book series, we talk about the importance of not only self-care, but let's take it a step further and talk about the importance of self-awareness and self-reflection, right? Because 
in my practice, most of the time what I see is parents come to me, whether it's the father or the mother, and they are going off about what the other parent does, what they don't do, how you know bad of a parent they are, how bad of an attitude they have, how they'll never be able to co-parent. And I always have to stop them like, whoa, 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 whoa. While you're pointing out all of their, you know, their flaws and the things that they're doing wrong, which may actually be accurate, um, what is it that you're doing or not doing? Or what can you be doing differently or what can you try that you haven't tried yet that will, you know, help shift the way that your relationship is going? And a lot of people don't take the time to actually sit back and say, hmm, what can I do differently? So here's the reality and here's what I want you to take away from that one line that Mashonda has been, you know, passing along through her media interviews. The importance of self-care and self-reflection is just understanding that first and foremost, um, you know, I tell my clients all the time, you can't control your child's other parent. You just can't. You can try. It's not going to work. You can't control what they do, what they say, how they act. You cannot control any of that. Who they're dating, who they're going to date, who they're going to have around your kids. You can't control their family. Like none of that stuff is in, that power is not in your hands. But what is in your hands is the way that you react to the way that they are. The way that you respond to their attitude. And whether you're feeding into that negativity or whether you're taking initiative to constantly try to shift the dynamic of your relationship. And that's one problem that many of us in a blended family um, or a divided family have is that we say, hmm, well, they have that attitude. Why should I be the one to extend the olive branch to the other person and try to make things right? They did me wrong. Or why should I be the one who is always talking positively about my child's other parent when they dog me, you know, behind the scenes? But the reality is you can only control you. And people can only act that way for so long. If you're constantly fueling them with positivity, no matter how much negativity they're giving you, then at some point they're going to make a shift. Or at minimum, you're going to be able to shift your own mindset to realize, okay, that's just how they are, but I'm not going to change my character and be a negative person just because that's how they are. So... If you haven't taken any initiative, try to have a conversation with your child's other parent. Try to, you know, break that barrier of you guys not communicating, not talking to each other, your kid knowing that you hate each other. All of that stuff is detrimental to your kid. Your child, your children are the people who are impacted the most by the fact that you two hate each other. So it's important that you at least, at minimum, take control of the things that you can take control of, and those things start with you. So for those of you who are not following me, Marissa V. Grayson, that's M-E-R-I-S-S-A, V as in Victor, Grayson, G-R-A-Y-S-O-N. I'm on pretty much everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Find me on there, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below, and I'll probably hop on next week, you know, you guys, if you want me to chime in on something else, but I just wanted to give my two cents because you kept tagging me, so boom, there it is. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.